It's called the American Express card you do not want to have, but strictly speaking, is that true? Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur. Welcome to my channel, and if you enjoy this video and you want to see more like it, I implore you please hit that subscribe button, smash that bell, and leave a like. So anyway, let us talk about American Express. American Express has a reputation for being one of the best issuers of credit cards on the market. Their products are legendary. They have the blue everyday cash reward. They have the business cards, the Amazon card. They have the gold card, the green card, the famous platinum card, and they even have an invite only card known as the Centurion card, AKA the black card. And if you can get that thing, you have major, major status. However, did you know that there is a second American Express card that is invite only? However, unlike the Centurion card where the invite indicates that you are a very wealthy person and of high stature and probably very responsible with money, this other card that you can be invited to is a terrible card, considers that you're very bad with money, and if you've been invited to apply for it, you had done screwed up. This card is known as the American Express Optima card, and even though it is called the Optima card, getting invited to it is far from an optimal situation. But first of all, what is this card, and why was it made, and what does it exist for, and why have you probably not heard of it? Well, here's the thing. One of the reasons that American Express is different from other credit card companies is that they want you to pay your bills on time. Many credit card issuers like Chase and Citi, and especially Capital One and Credit One, they will issue credit, but they do not want you to pay your bills. They want you to make the minimum payments and be paying their card forever. That is where they make their money. So when the balance is due, you can pay all of the balance or you can pay a little bit of the balance and you can, as they say in the credit card business, carry a balance and just have interest hacked on whatever the balance is. American Express does not like to do it. Yes, in some circumstances you can carry a balance. You can use their Planet Now feature. You can only pay a certain amount, but then you'll get hit with like some late fees as well as an APR. But if you do that too often, American Express will close your account. They're focused on making money through selling products to the consumer and by the credit card transactions, which are the highest in the industry. So if you get a platinum card, for example, and you carry a balance for two or three months, yeah, American Express is making some money on you because you are paying late fees and APR, but they will more than likely shut that card down because again, they want you to pay your bills on time. They do not want you to carry a balance indefinitely. And so that's one of the ways that American Express operates. However, at one point, they did decide that they wanted to experiment with a card that would allow customers to carry a balance over the months. And this card was known as the American Express Optima card, where basically if you, you know, wanted to carry a balance, you could, weren't always good at paying the full amount off, they would just let you carry the balance and they would charge a high APR. There wouldn't really be any rewards. Like the, the benefit from American Express's eyes was that you would have leg room to actually pay your bills. Like if you didn't have the whole amount this one month, you could just pay part of the amount and you could pay the rest of the amount the next month. And then you would just pay a high APR financing charge. A version of this kind of exists with the American Express Plum card, but we will discuss that piece of garbage card in another video. Now, for whatever reason, this card went on for a few years and either it wasn't successful or it did not yield the results that American Express wanted, or maybe American Express simply did not want to deal with people who were notorious for not paying their full 
balance on time. Maybe it just wasn't a very profitable endeavor. Maybe they felt it was ruining their reputation. So for whatever reason, the American Express Optima card was eventually settled into the sunset. Sort of, kind of, it's complicated. See, American Express never actually discontinued the card. What they did do is they stopped seriously advertising the card. They didn't make any more commercials for it anymore. You could no longer apply for the card. In fact, the Optima card became an invite-only credit card. Now, some of you are thinking, oh, well, that means it must have gotten really good because invite-only credit cards tend to have a little bit of prestige behind them, like the aforementioned Centurion card is a super luxurious credit card, have to be invited for it, so this must be a luxurious credit card, right? No, no, this is not a luxurious credit card. This is anything but a luxurious credit card. In fact, this is easily the worst credit card American Express actually offers. And yet it's also in some ways, one of their best credit cards. And I'm gonna explain why. So here's the thing, the Optima card as a balance carrying card came to an end, but American Express still saw a need for this card and a unique opportunity to repair relationships with people who had burnt them before on bad credit, defaults, loans, and bankruptcy. Basically the Optima card became known internally as the second chance card because instead of just anyone applying for and carrying balances and that being unprofitable for American Express, American Express decided, you know what? People who file bankruptcy, they don't all do it because they're nefarious people. Some people really did have bad circumstances and we want to give them a chance to come back to American Express and the Optima card is actually the path to get back in good graces with American Express. So the way this works is let's say you have an American Express card, doesn't matter which one it is, we'll just use this one as a little bit of an example. And let's say you default on it or you file for bankruptcy, the latter being far more likely. So here's the thing, at this point, this card has been defaulted on, American Express has gotten screwed, and you are now put on a blacklist. And if you've watched my video about Chase, you know that you do not want to be on a blacklist. Now, American Express's blacklist is nowhere near as severe as Chase. However, you are still put on one. However, unlike Chase, and unlike some other card companies, American Express offers a clear path to getting back in good graces with them, and this is where the Optima card comes into play. So here's the thing. Let's say you default or you bankrupt American Express, and you are now on the blacklist. American Express does want to work with you to get you back as a customer and to give you a second chance. So if you did either the default or the bankruptcy, the first thing you need to do to get invited for an Optima card is you need to call American Express, and you need to find out, okay, I know I owe you money, how much money do I owe you? At this point, American Express will tell you the balance. And by the way, there's no settling with American Express. They want you to pay the full amount that you owe them, whether you legally are obligated to or not. So now you are an American Express customer, or at least a former one, you would like to become an American Express customer again. So here's what you do. You find out how much you owe them and you pay them back. You pay them back in full and once you have paid them back in full, that's when you can inquire about getting an American Express Optima card. And American Express will usually, at this point, send you a paper form. You can't even apply for this online. They will send you an actual paper form and you fill out your name, your address, your social security number. Because of that, I would send this letter certified mail and you would mail it to American Express. American Express will get your form. They will see that you have settled the debt with them. And even though you have that bankruptcy on you, even though your credit might not be great, you have in their eyes proven yourself worthy to be given a second chance and you will be offered the American Express Optima card, which 
carries a $50 annual fee, has no rewards, and depending how bad your credit is, the absolute worst APR terms you are ever, ever going to see in your life. And some of you might be listening to this now like, well, why would you want to sign up for that? Well, here's why you would want to sign up for that, because American Express is a great company to have a relationship with. Their credit cards are some of the best around. And while this particular card is dog crap, your credit's dog crap. You might have to wait six, seven, ten years before you have a second chance at having a relationship with American Express. This is a way for American Express to recoup losses and it gives you a chance to get back in their good graces and therefore you are given the second chance. And for those of you who want to know what it looks like, this is it. This is the American Express Optima card. Now this is not mine. I never filed for bankruptcy. I bought this off eBay. Some unfortunate soul named William was the one who wrecked his credit in this case. And this card's actually in really good condition. In fact, one of the things that actually kind of strikes me about this card is how nice it looks. It's got nice little silver dust on it, the little Centurion guys there. You look at it and it almost looks like a fancy card. And really, it's a card that sucks. This is the card that you use when you have busted your relationship, you file for bankruptcy. This is basically a scarlet letter in the credit card industry because it's almost like a signal that when you hand this to someone most people who see it who know what it is go like oh you messed up didn't you and so that's why it is dubbed the american express card you do not want to have you do not want to get invited for but my question is is that true because here's the thing bankruptcy has a bad stigma about people who file, that they're basically just trying to get out of their debts, that they charged that ski set and they went on the vacation they couldn't afford and they were really careless. But what about the people who file for bankruptcy because of a hardship or they had to have that life-saving surgery like my wife did? You know, I, I'm glad that American Express has a way that they can be forgiven because that's what bankruptcy is supposed to be. Yes, you are in a jail for a while, but the idea is that eventually you can claw your way out. And as we saw with other videos I've made, banks aren't always good about that. But American Express gives their customers a way to come back. So even though in some ways this is a card you don't want, if you have wrecked your credit, if you have filed for bankruptcy and you need to claw your way out and you want to get back into good graces with American Express, this is an optimal card for people to get because you have a chance to prove firsthand to American Express that you can handle money. And after using this for a couple of years and paying your bills on time, at one point American Express will see that you have learned your lesson if you actually learn your lesson. If you just carry a balance all the time, it, this will never get upgraded. But once you have proven that you have better money skills and that you're good with your money management at this point, they will upgrade this to one of their other better cards that does have rewards. And then you can either cut this card up, you can burn it, or you can do what I do. You can put it in a protective sleeve and collect it. Now, American Express does not really advertise this card very much. However, you do see it on their official website, but again, you cannot apply for it on the internet. It has to be invite only, and you will typically only be invited if you have a previous relationship with American Express, and even then, not until you have paid back the money that you owe them. Personally, I think this is a good card, and I think this is a card more banks should have. Like when you file for bankruptcy, yeah, you are put in the doghouse, you may never be able to do business with that bank again, but let's say someone actually enjoyed having business with your bank that they want to continue at some point down the road, maybe having an option where, hey, if you pay back what you owe us, we will give you a card. It will not be a good card. The terms are not in your favor, as the Hunger Games would say. However, it is your chance to prove that you have learned your lesson and it will lead to better cards that you want down the road. It's because of things like the Optima card that I really, really love 
American Express. So anyway, that's where we are going to end this video. What did you think about our little history of the American Express Optima card? And did you ever have this thing? What were the circumstances, if you don't mind sharing? Um, or hey, are you someone who's currently going through a hard time that burned American Express? Were you aware that this existed? And now that you are aware that it exists, are you going to attempt to get one yourself to get back in good graces with American Express? I would love to know. Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.